Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Day six of the Advent calendar Bonanza. Thank you. I was looking for I was looking Palooza or Bonanza or event, the event of the season. The What's on Tap Advent calendar beer reviews. Christmas time. Coming to you daily. <laughs> We're on day six. And today we have something from Kiosk itself. It's brewed by McKellar mm-hmm. called Hazy Pell L. It is a 4.9% Pell L. It's hazy. It's hazy. It has barley malt, oat flakes, and rye malt. Nice. We love us a little bit of rye. We do. I'm very excited about that. It looks nice. It does. It's very, very yellow or straw yellow, pale yeah. yellow in color. It's got that hazy IPA kind of look to it. Definitely. Murky, it's, as uh, they would say. Murky, yeah. Mm, but it smells great on the nose. Very, it smells really good. Very hop forward. Yeah. I don't know if it says the hops. It smells... Um, nope, just hops and yeast. It smells quite fresh. It does smell quite fresh. It's best by uh, 050919. So it's got a... So it's a couple of months old, but... Yeah, so hops are still be, really nice. Should still be way in the good the good range. There's a bit of sediment on the glass if you look at the yeah. bottle. So there's yeah, some sediment that. on the bottle and the bottom of the bottle as well. Yeah, it smells good. Probably. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like that. That is really nice. A little bitter. It's got a tiny bit of. Um, like bitterness kick to it. Mm-hmm. It's dry. It's, yeah, it's surprisingly dry. But yeah, it was, yeah. It was, I mean, it had quite a nice body to it. Yeah. Anyway. There's a residual sweetness now that's coming in that once it kind of warms up on my palate. Yeah. Uh, that I quite like. Like it kind of hits, it hits you with a bitter note. And then. Might be the. Because um, then you, on the tongue and the acid, it is quite heavily bitter. It's like yeah, that no. kind of raw. Yeah, I get that raw bitterness to yeah. it. Um, but then as it kind of warms up a little bit, the sweetness starts to yeah. shine through a little bit, which I quite like. I think this one might be a little I would say too it was cold. felt a little too cold because yeah. I feel like there's some flavors here that are, it's, they're it's too kind dampened. Of muted right yeah. now. Yeah. So it, it gets kind of, um, it doesn't have a huge mouthfeel other than that, that bitterness to it. I thought the mouthfeel was pretty, pretty nice on it. Yeah, for 4.9%, um, I think this is a, a beautiful beer. And I think what we initially perceived as dryness was probably that kind of raw bitterness. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, bitter is kind of a dry, yeah, um, a dryness anyway. So that's felt like you had a, a hop pellet residue on your tongue. Yeah. And as a Danish, as a purely Danish beer, you kind of expect a little bit of the bitterness because they love that bisque yeah. um, flavor there. It's kind of like the. <clears throat> I think I really prefer my like hazy IPAs and hazy pale ales this way, with a, mm-hmm. a tiny, well, a little bit of a, a bitter kick to them. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm kind of agree with you. I, I really kind of miss the IPAs yeah. with a little bit of. I think there should be a bitterness to them. They don't have to yeah. be that. Like it used to be, like 100 IBUs, you yeah. know, a thousand IBUs or whatever. Yeah, you know, trying to outdo each other on the the bitterness. But I'm I'm glad it's been dialed back. Uh, yeah. Quite a bit, but I not I don't want to lose it all together. No, exactly. And I also think that the kind of the hazy style with the kind of sweeter, um, the sweeter flavor to it, and the like the residual sweetness that you were onto before, kind of also balances out the raw hoppiness really yeah. nicely. It, it, yeah, it, I feel like it needs a little bit of a raw kick to it. I agree. Or a raw bitter kick. Yeah. So day six is definitely um, an improvement. It's probably well the second best one of the calendar so far. What was the what was the best one first? The um, was the ultra was the second day. Was oh, the Jopen, the Jopen, Jopen, Jopen. Yeah. The Jopen one I really like, yeah. and I like the uh, the Ranka, uh, XX bitter. Oh, that was really nice yeah. too. Yeah, but again, they weren't exciting. No styles. And I mean, but neither, they were, neither is this one. No, really, but it's a. It's a very nice, it's a good hazy pale ale. Mm-hmm. It's well, well done. Yeah. Has a nice flavor to it. Yeah, now it's warmed up a little bit because I've been holding it in my hands to kind of get it to, to warm up and agitating it. It, um, 
It definitely becomes a bit more like fruit forward. Yeah. It opens up quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Ooh, that's where you want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. I could drink a lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I have if I could get this to the shop regularly, I would I'd pick those. Because at four point nine percent, I feel like you could drink, you know, two or three and you'd you'd feel pretty good about it. This one on like a, a summer stay, smoking some meat outside, yeah. just hanging out. It's a good time. Pretty perfect. I agree. Yeah. All right. So what would you give this one? Uh, I think as a as a hazy pale, I'm going to give it a really high score. Actually, I'm probably yeah. going to go like a four four point five or four point seven five. Wow, you're really knocking it out of the park there. I mean, it's it's a really good pale. Yeah. And I mean, again, it's <sighs> it's nothing overly exciting. But I mean, it doesn't have to be super exciting to get a good score. No, I completely agree. If it's um, well -made I really beer. like, I really like the when you agitate it, it just foams right up. I, mm -hmm. I kind of miss that. I miss a good head retention in a beer. So that I'm getting more and more excited about that. And the lacing on the glass. Yeah, I, I'm getting more excited about that than I used to. Mm. No, it's a really nice beer. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with four point five. All right, I'm gonna give it four two five. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'm right there with you. I think it's a really good beer, and I could see me picking this up mm -hmm. quite often um, if I'm just looking for something to to drink on like a Sunday afternoon or something. Yeah, yep. I think it should probably be if it isn't already, it should probably be one of their like regular tap offerings at the Rubabarab next to it. I don't think it is. You know, I don't think that they have any of the kiosk beers at Rubabarab. No, no, because when I, I walked, when was I there? I was there. Uh, a week or so ago, and I just kind of like looked through the window what Rebaba Rob had on their their tap list, and I don't remember seeing any hmm. any of the kiosk beers on there. But yeah, I mean they should have like one or two at least. Yeah, but I guess they just package all of it just for the shop to sell out of the out of the. Kind of wish so. they would make these in cans. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I wish that. Uh, I'm really glad that um, more and more brewers are switching to cans. Yeah, I, me I too. like that better, especially for the hoppy stuff. Yeah, it just preserves it better completely agree but this one is really nice yeah all right well until next time keep drinking you dum-dums